Good morning. It's actually vloguary day 18 now. I realized last night that I hadn't even put my face on the vlog all day yesterday. I had uh, an appointment at the Wharton Clinic, which went quite long, and uh, just getting some things straightened out for my upcoming trips, and I think a new gig might have just gotten added at the very beginning of March up in Saskatchewan so we're trying to work some of that out and I'm at the same time power reading those of you who are in Canada um, you and if you ever listen to CBC there's a, a show on there called the next chapter hosted by Sheila Rogers and it's all about books and I've done two segments with her already one that aired where I talked about my favorite book of all time Rebecca and then another one, which I think is airing next week, um, where I am comparing uh, Gillian Flynn with Chevy Stevens, uh, two of their specific books. So the one that's already aired, we'll put a link for it down below. You can listen to it online. I'm not sure if you're not in Canada if you'll be able to grab it, but Canadians will. And uh, the other one you'll be able to listen to. But coming up on March 1st, I'm recording one. That's going to compare the uh, Maze Runner trilogy to Margaret Atwood trilogy. And so Denise and I are tag team reading it right now. It's her Matt Adam um, trilogy. I'm rereading book one. Um, and Denise is going through the trilogy for the first time. She's in the middle of book two. And I'm recording this on March 1st. So we have to get through all three of those books by March 1st. Because I need to be refreshed. Uh, right now there's Mama Bear with her hair still not cut. So, See how many designs I can get out of it. Yes, it's Especially crazy. My, it's my crazy. Hair. See, the challenge there, I cut her hair, but she likes me to do it late at night before she's going to shower because she doesn't like the feel of the cut hair on her. And, you know, we have a cape and all that, but whatever. It gets on you. The thing is that with my 47-year-old eyes, I don't do a very good job when I cut her hair when it's dark. Because even with artificial indoor light, you'll notice, those of you who are younger than me, um, that as you age, your eyes get a little less capable in kind of dark. You're better off in, in broad daylight. So anyway, I'm going to try to force her to let me do it tonight because it is getting way too long. Now, I have an appointment today at the Mothership, a meeting at uh, CBC Radio. So we're heading down there for 11.30, but right now Mama's making us some breakfast, and she's doing laundry. She's just like... How many balls we got in the air? You, you've got all the balls in the air, baby. You're the one. Everybody wants to either be your wife or your dogs. And trust highest me... Highest bidder, highest bidder. Either way, <laughs> you're spoiled. They'd never outbid me, baby. That's right. Yes, look at her. Doesn't she look sweet in those pants? She's so cute. Find me the blue ones. I'm do, I'm gonna try to find you those blue ones. Got the green and oh, the black. Are the those the are the green. You got the black you wore yesterday. Hello, vloguary lovers. Um, hi, it's the first time me saying hi today. <laughs> um, so just a heads up. So we know that Candy is on the Trailer Park Boys season ten, and that new season uh, hits Netflix in, on March twenty eighth. So mark your calendars. We get to see Candy in pretty much all the episodes except for one. So it's fantastic. I'm excited about that. So um, we'll probably see more um, social media tweets and everything about uh, Trailer Park Boys. Uh, but I know Netflix tweeted it out, and um, Trailer Park Boys did. So. Anyway, we gotta look for that on Netflix. Uh, we're leaving here shortly to go down to the Mothership, as Candy calls it, CBC um, in Toronto. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day here. Uh, a little bit cool today. Little Miss Princess had to be picked up a couple times at the park. But she did her business, so that's that's all right. Just had, just had them out again. And um, then we're gonna go for a car ride. Don't you hate it when you forget your sunglasses at home and it's a sunny day? Um, it's sunny, but it's chilly. This car, we're so used to underground parking that's like perfectly clean. I know, Ruby, you mentioned that oh, most places don't clean in the winter. Listen, where we lived in Halifax, Nick, if you're watching, we miss you. He was our super. He kept our building clean, spick and span. Like, no excuses. You got on the elevator, you could smell Javax. Bleach. Like he cleaned every surface all the time. And twice a year we would get these notifications to move our car out of the garage for an eight hour period 
and they would come in and buff the floors like it was so clean showroom quality yes <laughs> it, and here they don't winter or summer they just don't clean the garage so Denise has to wipe the puppy's feet like that's pretty bad when the garage floor is that dirty that your dog's feet get scuffed up but anyway four months and basically 13 days and this building will be history for us thank you yes and hopefully we'll be even closer to downtown which is where we're driving right now heading down to the mothership cbc uh, for a meeting i'll be there for about an hour and that's where we we try to get close to uh living wise so fingers crossed for us we've got a real estate agent on the job she knows what we want and hopefully we'll find it in time one way or another though we're out of here yeah pretty though a eh? pretty sunny day gorgeous no oranges. This is the Sobeys Denise walks to all the time. Yep. And gets us our provisions. 800 meters one way, 800 back. Not that she's counting. So I just got out of my meeting, which was fantastic. And we are now stopped at the park. Look at these folks over here. Can you see the little baby girl running through the fence there? I know the car window is pretty dirty, but there's Mama Denise throwing them a little... Throwing them some snowballs. They run after the snowballs. They're so cute. They will also run out of the water coming out of the hose. Which is so funny. Oh, look, look. There she comes. So, so cute. In the summer, Denise will <laughs> turn the hose on in the yard and, like, flick it. And they run after the water, like, as if they think the water is solid. Um, and then they get all confused when they bite it and there's nothing there. Oh my goodness. That, like, you don't need a television. That is entertainment that will last you for hours. <laughs> Watching them trying to catch the water. Uh, yeah, so then we're going to just head home. I have a phone call with a client from, a client from Minnesota. Because that's a comedy gig I'm going down to green bay for and it's i think it's a women's studies department of the university of wisconsin so i just want to make sure that i'm clear on what kind of comedy set they're looking for so i can start putting my set together and then tomorrow i have a photo shoot to go to i will take you with me and yeah i think tonight for supper denise is going to make her tofu sandwiches oh they're one of my favorite things so i'm looking forward to that oh here they come <laughs> <laughs> this is my Austin Powers. Do I make you horny, darling? Do I? Um, you know how on Arrested Development they had that thing, never nudes? People who are just paranoid about being nude. I am the polar opposite of never nude. As soon as I come in, I peel. You'll notice my bra is on the floor over there. And there's a sock and a sweater. and mm -hmm. the, I just kind of peel off when I get home. So... Denise is like, I'm about to vlog, so I grabbed her plaid to drape myself, so I feel like I look like... Well, you look sexy, because I see your tattoo of your, on the shoulder Oh, yes, yeah, so of your mom. Your hair's uh, down, and you got your glasses on your oh, head. Oh, yeah. So I'm kind of like a dyke version of Sean Connery in my <laughs> plaid. Well, now you just, you just lost my lady wood. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Sean Ooh. Connery? Come on. Sorry hey, now, lots lots of straight I'm, ladies love them I'm, some Sean Connery. I'm not saying about you guys. I'm saying for me personally, it's me. You you love whoever you love, but I love this People woman. convince that woman to let me cut her hair today. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to talk about. But she wanted to hog the camera. So, <laughs> but this here has got to go. Got to go some something fierce. So tonight, definitely, it's happening. In the dark, so it won't be a great it's cut. Be choppy. Yeah, because when it gets dark, I don't see well, but <laughs> I'll put what you on. going to do? Get the candles out. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Uh, yeah, so I just had a bunch of phone meetings oh. and made some flight arrangements. I just spoke to the lovely woman at the University of Wisconsin. So, yes, those of you who are in the Wisconsin area, the gig is on um, the evening of March 24th at the University of Wisconsin. It is a fundraiser, so you just show up and donate what you can at the door. So they're not selling tickets like at a certain price. They're just asking people to donate, and the money that is raised from a performance goes to support scholarships for the LGBT uh, student community at the University of Wisconsin. So feel good all around. Now, any of you 
who go insist on seeing me okay <laughs> insist i generally hang around a little bit after anyway to take any pictures with people that want pictures beat your way through the crowd and tell me you watch me on youtube because i it's the strange thing like i people come up to me all the time they hear me on the radio or see me on tv and i i love it i'm i'm thrilled to meet them but youtubers when someone says i watch your youtube videos i get giddy it's the strangest thing i just because i just feel this is so personal mm -hmm. so make sure if you come to the show that you come and see me and specifically tell me that you watch me on youtube in fact if you hit me with a tweet or something just to let me know give me a heads up tell me your name so i can be kind of looking for you it'd be awesome so yeah i'd love to see any of you that are in the area and like i said you can come to the show and just pay whatever you can afford at the time mm -hmm. kind of cool very cool very cool. Can you see this guy? Oh, almost. What guy? This, not this guy, this guy. <laughs> you know that whole Jimi Hendrix, excuse me, will I kiss this guy? Oh, yes. Sorry. You can sort of see it. Sorry, people. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. She's trying to be artsy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's a beautiful sky. It's a beautiful it is. day. So next time you see me on camera, hair will be done. Yeah, we're in the midst of it. No, because we both get naked from the waist up, but we kind of no. Hair, we're so not. We don't we film won't it. Take that. No, it's no. It's nothing sexual. It's just because hair goes everywhere. Oh, because I have to shower right after. Because I'll get because she gets a little shavy thing out, and I can't. I can't handle scratchiness. I know it's odd. I know I'm odd. That's what it is. <laughs> it's who I am. <laughs> Going crazy. Yes. Goodbye. Are you happy? Yes, I am. You told him about Trailer Park Boys. Yes, I think I told him that I yesterday, did. March 28th, Netflix, season 10 of Trailer Park Boys. Check it out. Look for me. Uh, Yee-haw. I'll be the one driving the IROC Z powder blue. With the big, big pink bat. That's right. Walk softly. Swing a big bat. What do you think? Oh, of course there had to be a doggy well, shop. Well, look. There had to be a puppy shop. Someone needs a haircut. That'll be coming soon for them, too. Yeah, they so gotta get them in. Scraggly. Scraggly muffins. They needed that in this cold snap, though. Yeah, they needed to keep their hair. What are you cutting your eyes at me for? What? Oh. Don't know what's happening here, but uh, um, in this tiny space that we're in, we're all occupying maybe 50 square feet of the apartment. <laughs> But yeah, I did say next time you see me, my hair's cut, but it's not cut yet, because we didn't start it yet. So we're end of vloguary 18, and my hair's cut. Now I'm going to have a shower, because get all the, the hairs off, just let the puppy dogs outside. And I'll check it in the morning. Yes, and we'll generally after it's all washed in the next day, then we look out for little wispies in the daylight. and But it's all cut. I lost 10 years of my life. It's great. Well, off of my, I'm not as old. Well, you know what I mean. Good night. Night, everybody. See you tomorrow. This candle. This one's even the worst one yet. I've just poured off a bunch of wax, and it still melts like that. Bath and Body Works, you s candles suck. After we spent copious amounts of money over the years, and there, and and that, I can't even talk about it. Hi, Mama. She can't deal with it. Hello, I am showered. Hair wet, face clean, dress on. In about 15 minutes or so, we're going to leave for a photo shoot. I will take you with me. I'll be doing hair and makeup in the same place I was last week. But uh, this week, instead of it being a little video shoot, it's an actual photo shoot. So Fun. Stay tuned. Back again. So uh, you know Nash from last time. And say hello again. Hello. And we're back. Uh, face already done and just going to get the hair done and then heading downstairs. We've got a few more people in the room this week though. Uh, but yeah, lots of fun. Hey guys, so I've finished up and um, I should have got the camera out when I was in where the photo shoot was because it was uh, a really cool giant sized studio room. But anyway, finished. It was fun. Again, I didn't like my makeup. I think we're going to start... <laughs> when I don't know the artist, I'm going to do my own makeup and then have them do my hair. It was Nash again for the hair. 
it's hard with makeup when someone's doing you for the first time because they don't know your face and they don't know what you like and I totally know so I think I shall do that it's weird though I'm trying to get in touch with Denise to come get me it's uh, quarter to oh it's only a quarter to 12 I'm way early um, is it really a quarter to 12 or is my time wrong no sorry it's 20 to 1 uh, so yeah I'm just waiting for her to answer my call I'm sitting out here in the cold I might have to zip into a restaurant and have something to drink or something because um sweaty and tired and waiting